guys welcome back today I have part 5 for you of how to reborn today we are going to be working on reborn Marnie asleep again and we will be working on her flesh layers or her skin layers if you haven't seen the last four parts of this series I will have the playlist listed in the description below so go on over and check that out you aren't going to see a noticeable change today but we'll build it up so we're going to need our paint thinner and our paints of course I keep mine in a jar and for our colors I'm using my Bountiful Baby Baby Skin and I like to mix that with the warm blush to give a little bit of warmness to the skin tone and sometimes I'll go in and I'll use a little bit of the Flesh 04. For brushes today, these are the three that I'm going to be utilizing and like always, my cosmetic wedges. I'm going to start by adding my paint thinner. I like to add fairly a lot because I like to make a big batch of it so I don't have to keep remixing. But I already had leftover paint from the last session so I'm just mixing that up and adding in some more baby skin. a quick swatch and consistency check so mix up your paint brush off any excess and like always start in the back of the head and just very literally paint it on I like to work in small sections and so you'll see that progress as I go but once I have my section painted and saturated I just dab it off with my cosmetic wedge blending out the edges and then going over top. You wanna just basically absorb any excess paint and just pounce it right into the vinyl. And occasionally I will pounce off the cosmetic wedge onto a napkin or a paper towel or tissue of some sort just so that way it doesn't get super soaked and full with paint. just one layer of paint as you can see it's not much of a difference since it's very thin layers but comparing side by side you can definitely see a little bit of shift in color and it's also only shiny because it's still wet in this clip so I continue on to the legs and the arms added a little bit of warm blush to the mixture and I'm going in for a second layer so just repeat the process and like always make sure you are not clogging the creases with paint all 
Alrighty guys, so this is after the second layer. I usually do two to three layers before baking, and if it's a bigger baby, usually only one layer and then bake. But I'm also pointing out here that she somehow got marks on her face somewhere along the way, but I'm just gonna turn them into freckles, so it's okay. But anyways, you're just gonna continue this process until you've built up the skin tone results that you are looking for. And as you can see, it's also kind of diluted the veins and the mottling a little bit, which is why we do second layers later on. So stay tuned for those, and I hope you guys like this. Like always, any questions, leave it in the comments. I try my best to explain, and I hope you guys like today's video. I'll see you guys next time in the next one. Bye!